Hey, how's it going, guys? <gasps> Friday. Hot call time. Yeah. We in there. Oh, that's right. I was making a bridge, wasn't I? Wednesday stream went on for a while. I got carried away and just started doing like odd little jobs. I actually have a little bridge now. It's cute. This needs to come down. A bunch of stuff needs to happen. Uh, but first, first, before I start any of that big explodey work in the end realm, we need to get rid of those towers. So today's stream is probably going to be me just tearing those down and just chatting to you guys. Unless we get bored and move on to something else. <laughs> Whoa, we're pretty close to 1 million total views. Jesus. Big pock. <laughs> Perfectly timed. <laughs> so, let's just uh, let this rock. We go fish for a bit. Pog rod. I think we can still hear it from here. Absolutely. <laughs> Hope you're doing okay, man. We watched her stream highlights in class today. Surprise, the teacher let us. What? Funny as shit. Dude, best teacher ever. What the f***? Or oh, the worst teacher, because you probably didn't learn. Oh! Sorry. Some people are like, it's summer, question mark. It's not summer everywhere. It could technically be winter if you live in the summer, southern hemisphere, like Australia, for example. I don't think they have summer holidays in winter, dude. Probably differently set up. <laughs> the shell, you use it to make conduits. They're very useful to have. Worth it. And relatively rare. Just came over from YouTube. I forgot how behind the YouTube uploads are. What like happened a since then? I keep seeing the same comment posted on the YouTube videos. It makes me laugh every time. <laughs> Twitch viewers are the manga readers and YouTube Whoa, viewers are the anime greedy, watchers. Greedy. Don't worry, guys. The anime is going to be great. <laughs> what was I going to say? Greedy, oh, yeah. Greedy, You'll probably die to fall damage. So take uh, slow falling well, potions. Dumb question now. How do I get onto the Discord server? PH1 cry. You got to link your Twitch to Discord and then it shows up as an invite inside of there. We're a Discord partner now as well, so big pogs. It should make things go a little bit faster on that part. Hi guys, you can't hurt me now because I look at you and I got pumpkin. It's fine. Pumpkins are scary, right? It's intimidating. All right, the biggest of the boys is getting ripped down. Let's go for this one. Hey Phil, currently watching with my eyes closed since I'm still catching up on YouTube. Congrats <laughs> on the success. Oh, <laughs> what? <laughs> Thanks for the five, Perfect. dude. Oh, guys, you think I'm new to this? You think I'm new to this obsidian sh I was born in it. <laughs> Molded by it. I almost died in my season two world whilst I was doing this. I was actually on the ground and I was placing half slabs. Uh, but I was dressed just like this with my pumpkin on my head and my elytra. And guess what I did? Just slapped an enderman in the face out of just habit. And he chased me down. I only survived because I placed some water around the corner near where I was. Christ, dude. Big sketch. Remember at the start of the stream? When I said, hey guys, let's go do some grinding. Who wants to do some grinding? Let's go mine obsidian now. Everyone's just like, oh my god. Duh. Get the, get the beacon. It doesn't make it go faster. You storm Barely. Area 51, Phil. No. I heard if you wear a pumpkin on your head, they cannot see you invade the base. <laughs> god. <laughs> yeah, dude. I'll uh, I'll ship you some invisibility potions. How's that? Let's take off all your clothes. <laughs> Doesn't work if they can see your clothes. It's like in Minecraft. Phil, use a beacon, please. One, we haven't killed the Wither Boss. Two, it's fractionally faster. You're talking like 0 0.2 seconds. All right. It's funny to me when you say Pog, LOL. I can't help it now. It's like part of my vocabulary. I was talking to some of the guys in the Discord the other night and they were saying they say it in real life too. It's just like infected them. Sorry guys. Sorry. Are you really going to mine all of this obsidian? That sounds like a lot of work. Have you seen my hardcore series? This is nothing compared to what I've done. <laughs> you see him in real life too. It's just Twitch speak, isn't it? It's just Twitch speak. Gun Vulcan says I said Monka S at work the other day when a machine caught on fire. <laughs> 
just imagining everyone's reaction. Like, what's he talking about? What? Monk. When I first saw the clip of you die, I was so confused on how you were so calm. If it was me, I would have screamed and never touched Minecraft again. I came pretty close to be fair, but I'm I'm quite a calm guy in general. Like I, I rarely get really mad. You need to stop saying you're never gonna hit sub goals. <laughs> you're 169 subs away from a goal you said was impossible. Keep it up, you big meaty boy. <laughs> I mean, I keep saying it because I think it's impossible. Legitimately, can't believe it's that high already. So I, I can't help it, dude. I'm gonna keep saying it. Thank you for the thousand bits, man. Appreciate it. Please fish. You guys prefer fishing than this? When the hell am I going to get this done? I have to do it off stream? I thought you guys said you didn't want me playing off stream. Huh? Oh, well, that, that changed pretty quick, eh? <laughs> uh -huh. What about a recreation of the theater at the end of Inglorious Bastards for the Wither fight? <laughs> uh, oh, you know what I like, dude. You know I like Quentin Tarantino. Oh, he's in my head. I mean, we could kill him, but like I said, it's How pointless because do I don't have the materials. Your life? I mean, I did work retail and I did hate my life. <laughs> I quit. I went full time because of you guys. It sucked, dude. It sucked. But to be fair, there's worse jobs. There's worse jobs out there. You have your good days and you have your bad days with retail, I find. Sometimes you get some like really nice customers, really nice people, and you just feel happy that you managed to help them. Other times you get absolute assholes. That's just the way the cookie crumbles. That's life. And I personally stayed with that job for so long because I enjoyed helping people. Genuinely got satisfaction from helping someone buy something that they would use and wouldn't feel like they got ripped off for. There used to be a shop nearby us that would rip people off for things that would cost like £10. Oh, sorry, like $12. The, the most blatant and like absolute asshole story I have from that is this old woman came in over Christmas and she was, she, she was looked about like 80, right? And she came from, well, I'll just say the name, screw it. It's a, it's a clothes company now. It used to be called Comet. It got liquidized. Went into liquidation because they weren't making enough money. Surprise, surprise, probably because of this reason right here. Um, so this old woman came in at my shop. She was like eight year old. And I worked on the tech desk with all the electrical shit. And she came in and she was like, oh, I've just been in the Comet. And they had this, uh, this electrical extension lead. I just said I wanted a one for like fourth plugs. They tried to sell me this one that had like 16 plugs and an Ethernet port. I don't know. I don't even have Internet. I was like, are you serious? So like, yeah, yeah, it, just, it also did something with the aerial on the TV. I was like, oh my god. Oh my god. How much was it? Oh, it was like £45. I was like, alright, come here. I just took it over to the electrical bit and I was like, there you go. Just they, That's £5. It's exactly what you wanted. £5. Don't go and comment ever again. She was over the moon. It's, it's things like that that pretty much made Comet go bust. <laughs> Let's sell it. Let's try and sell this overpriced piece of tech to an 80 year old woman who doesn't know any better. F off. Get f They also did something else that was really shitty, I thought, but uh, honestly, because they work on commission, right? Well, they used to. Oh, so if they sell you something expensive, they get a little bit of that. That is a practice that they used to have. They worked on commission, right? So the people selling you stuff would try and sell you the most expensive version of whatever to get the most money out of you. Pretty shitty uh, business practice. But another thing that I thought was pretty shitty was during Christmas, again, it's always during Christmas that this shit happened. During Christmas, this woman uh, came into my shop and she was like, okay, have you got any, have you got any Nintendo DSs by any chance? Panicking. I was like, uh, sure, yeah. Um, what 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 color? What 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 type? Okay, I just I didn't need the Nintendo DS slice. Uh, I need I need I need the adapter, the charger, and a case. I was like, okay. And then she started going off about Comet, and what had happened was she bought a brand new Nintendo DS Lite from them, took it out of the box, didn't turn on. Turns out, just before Christmas, like a few days, she wanted to get it set up for her kids, and it was a refurbished 
Nintendo DS that was broken. Oh, she was sold a faulty greedy, product. Greedy she took it back into Comet and told them about it. And they were like, oh, sorry about that. We'll, we'll send it off. Come back in five days. What? It's Christmas soon. What are you talking about? Come back in five days. Give me a new f***ing DS. No, sorry. That's not part of our policy. We have to uh, we have to send it off and repair it and give it back to you. What do you mean repair it and give it back to me? You sold me a faulty product. Like, dude. <laughs> I felt so sorry for this lady. I made sure that she got like everything she needed. I even said like, oh, do you want to get this as well? It's really cheap. It actually will help you in the future. Um, it's going to protect the screen. Like I kept apologizing, I was I reassured her that we are cheaper than them as anyway. So by the time you eventually get a refund from them, because that's what she had to do, she, like, she, they told her like, "Oh, you can raise a complaint." She came in after the new year and told me that she actually did get a refund. So I was like, "Oh, thanks." I recognize her straight away. She came in straight. She, she made a beeline straight from my desk. And I was like, "Oh, did you get it sorted?" She was like, "Yes." Jesus Christ. <laughs> Comet almost ruined those children's uh, Christmas. But they're gone now. Comet has gone party. So th those moments those moments made my job a bit easier, a bit better. Because it's like, I genuinely helped this person save these people's Christmas. Oh my god, I've got another story. It's, it's going to be story time today because we're mining obsidian. It's, oh, I, again, it's always a Christmas. That's like the third story in a row, dude. That's the third story in a row. So... Christmas comes around again, and typically what happens at Christmas is that customers get very forgetful. Very forgetful, right? Stupid shit happens. I, I'm guilty of this too. I'll forget, so I'll go into a shop and forget exactly what the f I was meant to be in there for. I'll just get lost or wander around, buy some sweets. Mr. Jackson says, mining obsidian, this takes me back. One of the OGs. She was here for season two. She knows she was here. I'm telling stories, Chris. I'm telling stories about retail. I'll actually pass, pass the time. Christmas rolls around. I'm walking the shop floor. It's near closing time. And like I said, people get very forgetful around that time of year. So I'm walking down the toy aisle. And I see what looks like a money clip out of the corner of my eye. Oh, Went over to it, picked it up. Greedy. That was a thousand pound in a money clip. What are you going to do with all of this obsidian now? <laughs> all fifties. All fifties. <clears throat> what am I going to do obsidian? I don't know. We'll think of something. All fifties. So I'm just stood there like, um, um, <clears throat> and I legit, no joke, stand up like this. I pick it up. <laughs> What can I use? I'll use this. <clears throat> I pick it up and let's go. Um. Um. Uh, uh, making it as obvious as possible that it's not going in my pocket. It's clearly visible. <laughs> Zero notes are getting taken from it. It's it's as it was when I picked it up. It's literally exactly as it was when I touched it. <laughs> and I was like walking down the front of the store where the manager was. And uh, just, like I said, we were just closing up. Just closing up. And I walked down to the front of the store because I knew the manager was uh, closing the doors. And he's looked at me and he's went, Whoa! I was like, yep. It's a thousand. I just counted it. It's a thousand. <laughs> and as we were just like in shock that somebody dropped a thousand pound in a money clip in the store, this woman comes running up to the door as we were closing it. Banging. Like she was out of breath. And it was just like, what, like me. Jesus. <laughs> and I was out of view completely. Woman comes in. We let her in because she's like stressing out. She's like screaming. She's like, let me, let me, let me, I lost something. I lost something. We're like, okay, okay, okay. What was it? What was it? It was a money clip. It was, it's for, it's for the kids. It's for, it's for every, it's everything. It's literally our Christmas. And I was like, holy shit, dude. I have their Christmas in my hand, dude. <laughs> was it in? A money clip made out of steel, by any chance? She's like, yes, yes, yes. How much was it? <clears throat> exactly. It was a thousand. It was all in fifties. Oh my god! She's like breaking down, and she just like looked over at me and just winked and went, 
and I had I, I was like yeah I found it I've literally just found it in the toy aisle and she was just she just broke down in tears dude I've never seen someone like so happy a, a thousand pound for Christmas damn that's a good Christmas I mean you think about it these days with kids they want iPads and all this shit and games consoles she probably had like two or three kids that makes about sense like 300 or 400 each kid she like grabbed a hold of me gave me the biggest hug <laughs> I was just like it's all right it's all right so that made me like really happy. The, the moments like that, we, obviously we gave her the money back, send her on away. <laughs> I didn't just turn around and go, yunk, mine now. <laughs> Yeeting your kid's Christmas into the floor. But I was, I was, it made me really happy. I was like, yeah. Imagine if some asshole customer saw that and just took it home. Like, oh, mine. Finders keepers, losers weepers. Imagine being that kid, like, oh, why don't we have presents this year? Oh, well, Santa couldn't make it, guys. Oof, dude. Oof. <laughs> it's stuff like that. It's 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 stories like that. That kind of made things a little bit happier for me at work. I would always try and remember them. Santa stole a thousand quid. True. <laughs> oh, Santa's money now, by the way. Yeah. Get wrecked, kid. Worth it. Oh, uh, you know what I forgot to bring? Shulker boxes. Got two empty ones there we can use. What do I do after killing Ender Dragon? DK, what to do after get so bored, lol? Uh, what well, do you do? I mean, go get the Elytra, dude. It's like the best item in the game. Opens up your entire world. Guys, look at my materials. Can't make a beacon. Stop asking. Because it ain't happening. Why are there so many NC portals? Because I killed the dragon 20 times. According to MC Wiki, there are 10 obsidian towers, adding up to 40,499 pieces of obsidian. Sounds about right. Multiply that by the time it takes to mine with F. 5 diamond pick seconds, it will take 103,272 seconds, or 1721 minutes, or 28 hours. With haste 2 boost, you mine 40% faster, and my Novian seconds you bring that time down 61,558 seconds, or 1,025 minutes, or 17 <laughs> hours. Jesus Christ. <laughs> 17 hours we will save with haste 2. It's a shame we don't have the iron for it right now. Do you guys seriously want me to just go get the iron? Because I'm totally fine just doing this shit. This grind is nothing compared to the things I've done in the past. So if you want to tell dad that this is not normal and you don't like it, you want me to go get a beacon? Let dad know because I am just totally f chill. This is my bread and butter, dude. I've grinded for five years. I've been doing this shit for five years. Wanna fight me? Fight these tears. <laughs> it's in my blood, dude. In my blood. How the f do you think I completed all those projects? <laughs> Dude, Chaos Cabins took a year. Real talk. Chaos Cabins took a year to complete. That included digging out the entire biome, recustomizing the terrain, and fetching all of those mobs. <laughs> Phil, go and give it to you. <laughs> Straw pull. Alright. Okay, guys. Go, go, go. I already know what the answer is going to be. That's not as one side as I thought. Go far, my iron. You masochist. <laughs> Dude, I love the grind, man. It's so satisfying. It's so satisfying. Doing it all by hand. Just like, psh, psh. I get it, though. You guys want to see it go a little bit faster. <laughs> I'm only voting for the beacon because over the long run, you'll finish projects faster. I mean, it's not like beacons aren't going to be a primary focus of the world. I'm going to have beacons everywhere, dude. I'm going to have them everywhere once I get the materials ready and once I find out how I want to fight the wither. We're fighting them legit the first time. Every other time after that, we are cheesing the fuck out of them. We're cheesing that boy. He's getting pushed into bedrock and getting slashed with smite five. Easy, GG. We're farming him. But I always, always like to fight him legit the first time. 
Yeah, you guys have pretty much decided. 600 votes against 300. I hear you guys, I hear you. I was about ready to just stay here for the whole stream. This one's tiny. This this one would take no time at all. You guys overreacting, man. These obsidian towers are actually pretty tame. That's tiny, that's tiny, that's a thick boy, that's a thick boy. That's a thick-ish boy. Tiny, tiny, thick, tiny. Piece of piss. This one's tiny. Jesus Christ, skinny boy. Look at this. Doesn't finish his meals. <laughs> Sorry for the minority of people that wanted to watch the grinding. Majority of chat said, nah, man. Dude, you guys are so... Oh, you guys are so weird. Oh, God, stop. Stop uh, mining obsidian. But fish. Fish, though. It's raining, though, fish. Do some fishing. <laughs> fish, good. Progress, bad. <laughs> what? JK, we're not fishing. Uh, 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 chat voted for me to go mining for materials, so we're going to go do that. Chat has spoken. Phil, do fishing. Okay. Oh god, don't mine obsidian though. What? Don't do it. Don't do it without haste too. What do you mean? I need to get it done for Atlantis. Nah, just fish. Just fish forehead. Oh! <laughs> so weird. Those two are like identical. It's just like grinding. Oh my god. I guess you know what it is. I guess it's because you guys aren't seeing the ends. You're not seeing what's in my head, right? Oh. What I think is the problem is that I can see Atlantis in my head and it's hype as fuck and I'm really excited to build it. So when I'm mining obsidian, all I'm thinking about is how cool Atlantis is going to look like. So it's totally like that grinds to do the cool thing. It's totally normal to me because I'm always thinking of the projects. So grinding to me isn't isn't difficult. Because I'm just thinking, oh yeah, can't wait to get this done. It's going to look sick. But you guys are just seeing me mind obsidian. <laughs> On Twitch. <laughs> like, that's it. Oh! Call it. So I, I get it. I get it. Ah. More iron. And diamonds. Thank you. Thank you, game. One. Piss off, game. That's not happened in a while. That sucks. All right, cheers, game. Pranked, pranked idiot. So if the end project is called Atlantis and Atlantis has water, this means he's going to fish in the end. Pog champ, forget this resource gathering and gets to fishing in the end. Ph one all fishing. <laughs> well, for the most part, we won't be fishing in the end, but I can make a fishing station if you guys want. Um, the whole point of Atlantis. Is for it to be an underwater biome that we can just walk around in and breathe underwater using conduits. So, 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 <clears throat> we will be spending most of our time just walking around on the ocean floor or swimming around looking at all the cool stuff that we're gonna build there. Like, for example, oh, more iron. Like, for example, uh, Ender Dragon Skeletons slash Fossils. Want to build some of those. Underground Sunken Cities. Dolphin Habitats. Oop. And we'll bring our Skeleton Horses to party as well. Because they can breathe underwater. They don't have lungs. Haha. -ha. I think the game wants us to get a lot of iron. Mom made me go to Target. I missed two hours. What happened? I'm sorry, Phil. I started mining Obsidian. Chat got triggered because... It's not fast enough. They're going to get a nice surprise when it's just as slow. And we have the beacon. <laughs> and now we're mining for materials to make the beacon. Greedy, greedy uh, let's head back Phil. real quick so I don't have shulker boxes. Hey Phil, just a reminder that we all love you. You deserved everything that has happened to you. I'm sure everyone agrees with me on that. Much oh, love you, from the Netherlands. Thank you for the kind words, man. Thank you for the biddies. Hey, mate. Welcome to... Nah. Oh my god, the cat hissed at the phantoms. It's scaring them away. Get weird. <gasps> Pog, you're scaring them away. You're the best. I thought he only scared away um, creepers. Look, he's not swooping. He's just bailing every time. 
Pug's the best, dude. That's awesome. Good job, Pug. Good job. Pug the cat. Oh! Where did you come from? Oh, I hate long grass, dude. I hate it. Of course. Light level seven, six, five, four. You guys wonder why I always place torches everywhere. That's why. Show of hands, by the way. Who is going to TwitchCon? Press one if you are, press two if you're not. I want to meet as many of you as possible. But it's so far away for so many people. Those of you that are going though, don't hesitate to shout at me. <laughs> to get my attention. I'll take some pics. Or well, if I see you wearing my uh, merch, then I will shout of you. <laughs> like, oh! Is that a hardcore heart hoodie? Is that a big park hoodie? Get your ass over here. <laughs> you see how much iron we got from that? Right. Worth it. This, I'm making an iron farm. Even though it's probably going to break. Let's see. I'm going to use these guys because screw it. So this is this is why I put it off for so long because I know they're messing with villagers. And how iron farms are going to work. Now guys, are now you guys are telling me to wait until 1.48.4. <laughs> uh, if I make an iron farm now, it's going to be broken in the next version. Rip, dude. You guys think I should just drop into 1.14.4? Seen a lot of yeses. Right, give me a sec. Let's do it. <clears throat> yes, I know what I'm doing. 1.14.4. I think I might just do docks. We did do a uh, dock M style. So apparently the um, if I remember correctly, because I did watch this briefly, if I remember correctly, the iron golems need to be a good distance away. Imagine not having a water bucket. Imagine not having an elytra. I feel like this is high enough. Where are we at? Yeah, 177. That's high enough. Do, 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 do. One, I couldn't get a shirt because you don't have fat sizes, so I gifted some subs. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> Wasn't expecting to make one of these today, but we're in. Ooh, I chose, I chose a terrible time to start doing this, but we're in. We're in. It's not like I've got a job to go back to. <laughs> ah! <laughs> this is my job now. We're in. Don't have to get up at six o'clock tomorrow morning. Nope. This is my job. Gonna make a little tunnel for this guy to get to it. Get to his newfound water slide. Good thing I've got shit tons of dirt. Am I right? How does the iron golem spawning work if you don't mind me asking? So the way it works is we're gonna have three villagers in each station. So six total in each station. Opposite here. So one that way, one that way. They're going to have their workstations. They're going to have their beds. In the middle, we're going to have a zombie. His line of sight is going to meet the line of sight of the villagers and scare them, which puts them into a scared state, which spawns the iron golems to protect them, which will spawn above us. Once they spawn, we will have water above this to push them out and they will get pushed off and land below where we're going to have a lava killing collection system set up. The reason why we're doing it so high up is because the golems dying affects the villagers state. So if the golems die out of range of the village, then it doesn't affect the spawn rate. If they do die within the range of the village, the spawn rate goes down. I think because it makes the villagers sad. Some some weird reason. I remember if you killed a villagers around other villagers, like if you didn't like the trade they had and killed them, it makes them less likely to mate. <laughs> so like there's there's some weird there's some weird rules. So you have to make sure that you've got all your bases covered. <laughs> Woo! 
Are you ready? There's the bubbles. Should we give it a test drive? This is going to send our zombie sky high. Whee! I'm not touching shit. Hopefully my head doesn't get blasted off the roof. And we're good. Hey. <laughs> Man. Do you want this booty or not? I'm going to give you a push, all right? There you go. <laughs> Come on, dude. There you go. Good lad. Oh, look at you. Well done. Maybe get inside, though. Maybe maybe drop down a little bit. Please. What's going on, dude? Why are you having such a hard time in a minute? Oh. He's in. Oh, I really hope he can't get out. I don't think he can. Jesus. He really wants to, but that's stopping him. <sighs> Scary boy has got the he's got the zoomies. He's attempting to zoom me right now. Oh, holy shit! We actually did pass the sub goal. Okay. <laughs> that's crazy. Oh my god. Dude, the absolute meme goal that is 6969 just got smashed. <laughs> I never imagined. I never imagined we'd get even close to that. Remember like remember like a month and a half ago when some of you guys were saying in chat like ah oh, 6969 I kept saying don't it's impossible. Come on. Blow me up right now. Actually blow me up hell dude rest in peace youtube i'm gonna have to f eat this this bit's getting censored i can't help but swear <laughs> Gotta, can't help myself i have to f-bomb godzilla sized pog <laughs> i'm a shaggy <laughs> yeah i love that name thank you for the thousand bits dude Me. straw pulling it we gotta finish this iron farm guys tonight at some point Ten thousand is too high 777 is actually going to be up to on the other tail I'm pretty certain. I think we've hit max capacity now, which is totally fine by me, by the way. That's, that's huge. It's actually huge. 8,008 because boob, dude. We're 12. <laughs> I, I, put, I put it in. <laughs> that's going to be a close one. I'm, I'm seeing 7420 and 777 are going to be neck and neck, dude. Boob solid, though. Okay, 10,000 is ridiculous. We're not doing 10,000. That's stupid. <laughs> Boom is actually winning. Oh, no. That that settles it. There's no there's no contest. Boob's winning. What is this stream? What is my life? Actually, what the f*** is my life for real? Red bed, red bed redemption is in full effect. Why do I have eggs? All right, chicken spawns from this and this iron farm is going to be the best thing in existence. Right, never mind. It's not going to be the best. It's going to be average. <coughs> Your YouTube vids are bringing me the genuine joy I didn't have for a year. I can't watch stream, but damn if I didn't love you lots for that. Oh, thank you, man. I really, that really, that really, um, it's really nice to see people appreciating the YouTube videos. They do take a while to make. I know it sounds really dumb because they're just like edited down and not like super crazy. But I'm sitting there for a while, like going through it all. Thank you, man. All right, there we go. Let's do that. And it's like that. One of those. Carpet. Give me a break, guys. Come on. I suck at redstone and tutorials, dude. I suck at it. That's why I'm always like, um, every time you guys ask me, like, oh, how do you build this? How do you build that? I'm just like, um, YouTube it, because I am not the dude to be asking this question. I am not the guy. <laughs> this is a weird iron farm. It is weird, Kristen, but oh, the rules have changed. Greedy, greedy the rules have been flipped. So the villagers that I have are locked in to be librarians, so they have to have lecterns, I'm assuming. Because he's got different villagers in there. So that's why he's got different workstations. 
Like, since I have a different hitbox, it could just push them out. Oh my god. You are kidding me. You're right. If I have them facing backwards, though, that should be fine. Science time, guys. Science time. And now, hopefully, we should get Iron Gom spawn. You guys saw it look strange beforehand. I mean, they're staying in there. Oh! Thank you, Doc M. That's so weird, dude. That's so weird. Look at them wobbling around. So that works. Perfect. Good to know. This is such a weird design. You'd never think that a design for an iron farm, with them being the way they were for so long, would end up being like this. So bizarre. So bizarre. I think that's safe. I think that's good. Let's put some more blocks along here first. Yeah, I think that's I think that's good. Uh, they might be able to jump that. So let's do that. <laughs> they actually would jump that quite easily. <laughs> Everything else though, I think we're all right. I think we're all right. This is gonna get real awkward real quick. Okay, one of you guys needs to get in this boat. There you go, mate. Eh. Land boat. Land boat, land boat. Ugh. You need to stay. Thank you. Thank you for cooperating. I'll be right back. <laughs> land boat, land boat. Slowly but surely. Shit. I forgot about that. Oh, I almost killed him. Get off the path block. Get in. Okay. Go. Yeah. Alright, he's good. He's good. He's good. He's a tough boy. Yes, dude. Yes! That was real quick. Land boat for the win. Okay, so you saw your friend get in the boat before. That would be amazing if you could do the same thing with me. Oh, you're the best. I'm going to take you to the greatest, greatest place on earth. It's a hotel in the sky. I know, it's great. You can see everything from up there. It's, it's practically a five-star hotel. Honestly. It is honestly so, so nice. No scary zombies or anything. No, I know you, I know your friend, I know your friend said that there were, but there's not. No, 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 you have, you have to go. Bruh. The rod scared him enough to make him go up. All right. Has <laughs> he ran all the way in there? No. Okay. Yes, dude. Oh, they're trying to sleep. They're doing the thing. Oh, no. All right, guys, I'll catch you later. God, villagers are so fucking stupid. Oh my God. <laughs> so I need to get rid of the uh, dirt. <laughs> now. Because they're just going to absolutely yeet themselves by the looks of it. Now, I know the stories you've heard about this hotel, but trust me, there's been no accidental deaths in the past few days, okay? What you've heard on the news, it's all fake. It's fake news. 
I'm not going up there with you. It's scary. I mean, it's it's it's, it's not for not for employees. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Let's try it again, shall we? Okay, so there's no way you can get out of that now. Cool. It's your funeral, dude. I'll come back for you later. Uh, I'm okay with this. This saves me time. You were all about him a second ago. Now he's like now he's last 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 week's news. What's going on? Okay, now he traps. Okay. How about we just get them get these three guys here and call it a night. Uh, yes, we'll finish it Monday, okay? Alright. I can't believe that guy just threw himself off, man. Oh my God. Literally the next day. When you finally get to watch Papa Phil in Australia because you're early. Biggest yeah. Problem. It should be good. I'm going to torch it up just in case. Because <laughs> we know what happens to these guys. They like to eat themselves off cliffs. Came because of the death bits. Stay because Phil is a legitimately good person. Ah. Much love. Oh, thank you, man. Thank you for the vibe. Go up. <sighs> No. I have donated like 40 quid Come back. throughout the last three streams, but I'm still not sucked. Wait. What the hell am I doing? <laughs> Think of the five hundred bits, dude. Oh, he's trying to get to his friends. No, he's not. He's trying to go home. You're not going home. <laughs> no escape. Something. Hmm. <laughs> huh. Oh, poor guy. <laughs> Alright guys, time to time to come over here. Let's, let's go over here guys, come on. Please! If I keep talking to him, you, you might <gasps> Oh No. Okay. Okay. <laughs> did he just walk in himself? He did. <laughs> I was like, wait a second, there's two there now. Okay. Let's do this. Last one. I am it. Nope. No escape. <laughs> I had to. That should be it. That should be us ready to go. 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 Oh, I don't want to punch you again. I had to. Oh, shit. One of them slept. All right, mate. Go back. Go back. Yep. There you go. Perfect. Perfect. Please just go to the thing. We need a half stab on there. Oh! Please say you didn't jump off. And I gotta get rid of this floor underneath you. Can you please go to where you meant to go? Please go, 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 go. All right, all right, all right. Now you're locked in. Okay. I gotta get rid of this floor. They shouldn't be able to move now, hopefully, if I do... Is it that? I think it's that. I think it's that one. There shouldn't be any blocks underneath the beds. That is good. The only block that we can have is this one to keep this trap door um, going. We, in fact, we could even get rid of that, but just for safety, I'm keeping it on there. Um, these blocks can go. They're fine. That can go. That can go. That can go. That can go. These ones can go. Ah. Yes, dude. We're in there, guys. We're in there. Now we just need to get rid of this. When it comes to Minecraft YouTubers, AMD streamers, they all seem to be the same or slightly similar. Oh! I don't know if it's because you're English or just your playstyle, but you have gotten me back into watching Minecraft. 
less than three big points. <laughs> I'll take you, man. Thank you. <laughs> I forgot you could like slap me across the head. Okay, thank you, dude. Thank you for the two months. <laughs> And we should be good, gentlemen. Oh, shit, the bed. Uh, I didn't touch them. Okay. Oh, I hate this. Ah! All right, go, 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 go. Sorry, guys. He doesn't take fall damage. He's alive down there. <laughs> ah! I didn't think they'd start spawning now. Oh! I'm using these as markers. So I know where the fall points are. Bye, mate. Are you shitting me? How the f did he hit him? Ah! We gotta sleep. I think they're gonna slowly suffocate themselves there because they're not scared anymore. We gotta sleep. Dude, the chances that the golem just lands in that exact spot, I swear to God. All right, fine. Fine. It's fixable. Don't worry, guys. All right, mate, time for you to go. You, you were the hero that they needed, but Jesus Christ. What are you standing on? Over here. Let me get rid of you. Let's bring him into this bit, actually. Yeah. Let's do it. I just need to squish him into it, if that makes sense now. I gotta give him some love taps. Oh, I had thorns! Oh my gosh, shit the bed. Woo! Of all the things. Of all the, th of all the enchantments to have. <laughs> Woo! Oh no, the golem's eyeing him up, dude. Golem knows. Okay, let's put a wall there. Oh, he's in! Ow! Oh, I got out. Okay, I gotta be fast. Try to slow him down a bit. You might end up drowning here. It worked for a sec! No! No, I placed it! It didn't work! Ah! Oh, we got a ghost block! Yeah! Finally. Okay, don't prank me, dude. Don't prank. <laughs> sure. That still works, I guess. <laughs> it still works. It still works. It just works. All right, perfect. He's free. He's safe. They can't reach him from there. Whoo! We good, guys. We good. We good. He turned to a drown because we used water to squish him into that spot we wanted him to be in. All right, next up on the agenda. We need to get these thick boys into lava, heat them up real good. Nice and spicy. Let's get this bread. Gaming time. Has he despawned because he changed to a drown I'm gonna lose my shit excuse me wasn't he still name tag though he was we got scammed dude we got actually scammed oh my god we got scammed oh good thing I didn't get rid of this entirely now we're just gonna have to make a staircase oh we learned something new every day lads lads and lasses we have learned a new rule a new rule that we should never break Custom mobs that change to drowns get yeeted off the face of the earth. 
Once you leave the area, they won't, don't become custom anymore, even though they're still named. Get pranked, idiot. Multiple creepers. Aha! My friend. My ally. My partner in crime. Okay, come on, mate. This way, friend. There he goes. Yes! Oh, God. All right. Still name tags. Now we just got to get the f out of here. <laughs> and not get this column to fall down here. Oh, boy. I don't think it can reach that. There's no way. Ow. Ow, dude. Oh, shit. <laughs> no! Oh! I can't kill them, dude. They hit like trucks. Keep cool, guys. Keep cool. I don't want to get close to him in case he thinks he can hit him. If I push him and he thinks he's close enough to hit him and yeets, he's going to yeet me. So, pass. We're taking him down with us once I start getting rid of this dirt, okay? Jesus! Stop! Worth it. Okay, finally, Jesus Christ. I gotta hit him. I gotta just hook. I... Oh. Oh, my heart. Hi, man. This needs to be further back, I think, just to catch them. Just to make sure I don't miss. Do that. I'm being dumb. I was making it way harder than it was meant to be. Okay. Uh, oh, sweet Jesus! You you fall you fell there. You fell on that corner. Like I said, let's adjust it as we go, guys. <laughs> oh yikes! Let's go sleep. Oh, we we are, we are getting a serious iron golem infestation right now. So this is what I want to do. I want to push them into the middle and then push them down this bit and then have them die in some lava down here. Okay, and then let's get rid of this. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Got a collection going, guys. So chests can go right here. Perfect. I think we're ready to add the lava and uh, watch these guys melt. Oh my god. I can't reach that block. <laughs> Yo, this is busted. This is actually busted. Dude. Dude. Okay, I need to light this up a bit more. King hell. All right, iron farm complete, guys. Oh, just in time. I was going to go make stir fry. Pog, right on time. All right, thanks for chilling, guys. That was fun. Fun little, fun little weekend stream for you, boys. Fun little, we finished the iron farm, boys. Finally. Me. All right, bye guys. Bye.